Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Today in the NA. I'm Vinny Paraselli. The NHL is officially back after 10 games this past weekend. We'll preview the games coming up over the next few days in just a minute, but let's take a look back at the first weekend of action right now. The best game of the weekend came on Sunday as the Maryland Black Bears had a 6-1 lead in the second period. We'll pick it up when it's 6-2. Brendan Clark going to do it all himself to make it a 6-3 game. It would be 6-4 heading to the third. Anthony Mastromonica with his second of the game to get the contest within one. Mikhail Sator nets his game-tying goal with about 12 and a half minutes remaining. And of course, we'll need overtime. And in the extra frame, John Galat with a breakaway and makes no mistake, the Tomahawks overcome a five-goal deficit to win this one 7-6 in overtime, an early candidate for top game of the year. How about the first game in the history of the Danbury Junior Hat Tricks? First goal of Danbury goes to Hunter McCurdy with this shot from just inside the blue line. The Titans would come right back as Jake LaRusso ties the game at one just 69 seconds later. Let's skip ahead to the third. Danbury trailing by one. Alex Kraus ties the game at two. And of course, we're going to overtime. Junior hat tricks on the power play. Nolan Barrett with an absolute snipe off the post. And in a perfect shot in a perfect way for Danbury to kick off their NHL journey. Those are some of the top games from the weekend. Aberdeen and Maine picked up sweeps while Minot, Bismarck, Johnstown, Maryland, and New Jersey and Danbury all split on the opening weekend. Let's take a look now at the league leaders after a couple of games. Clayton Costantino leads the NHL with five points. All of them assists. Reed Liebold, Reese Farrell, Tyler Gollin, Peyton Matsui, and Garrett Zidlowski all ended the weekend with four points. Not listed here are Liam Frazier and Anthony Mastermonica. They are tied with Liebold with the league leading goals with three. Coming up this weekend, we've got nine games on the schedule. The only single game will be between Northeast and Danbury. The Generals are looking for their first winner for dropping their first two games in Maine. Danbury will try to get back on track for splitting with the Titans. The Minnesota Wilderness are the only new team to join in on the fun this season. They will travel to Minot to take on the Minotauros, who grabbed three out of four points on the weekend. Then we hop on over to the East Division where Maine and Johnstown will go head to head in the Tomahawks home opener. Expect a lot of offense in this series. Both teams have some lethal first couple of lines. I take the over in this series for sure. Maryland then goes to New Jersey to take on the Titans. Could have been a matchup we saw in the postseason back in April. Both teams are 1-1 one one with three points on the year. Last but not least, it's the series of the weekend in my book. Aberdeen and Bismarck go against each other for the first time this year. The top two teams in the center from a year ago renew their fierce rivalry. It should be a must watch from start to finish, especially with these two great coaches behind the benches. As we said, nine games on the schedule this weekend. You can watch them all on Hockey TV. Follow the North American Hockey League on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. You can also go to NHL.com for live scores and stats, or you can download the NHL app on your smartphone. Thanks for joining us this week on Today in the NA. We'll be back next week as more teams begin their 2020-2021 season. We'll preview those matchups right here. Until then, I'm Vinny Paraselli. Thanks for watching.